Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper here, and today what I'm going to do is show you my diesel power station, Atlantic Tools. It's an older one, and uh, parts are sort of easy to come by. I do have to order from England, but what I'm going to do today is uh, change the fuel filter, and I'm also going to put in an uh, inline filter fuel filter as well. So you have one fuel filter that sits inside of your gas tank. And I already took off this gas tank, so I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So there's where the fuel filter mounts to. And you have what's called, here's your fuel filter. And you have what's called a petcock valve. So pet petcock valve uh, is the the uh, valve that controls your fuel flow into the engine. And you just uh, you know you basically uh, just move this lever to shut it off that way and to open it this way. So I'm going to change the filter as well as the petcock valve. And I got uh, a gasket for the fuel filter but the gasket that I got from it's called Generator Guru and they sell a bunch of just different things they, they're a big site and they're pretty reasonable in in cost for shipping parts from England uh, I think I paid like five dollars for it so I and and they're really good as far as support goes like chats and things like that very quick response so anyway I uh, got a gasket but the gasket did not cover this lip it only covered the actual diameter of the fuel filter so what I have to do they're sending me another gasket to cover this part but I ordered I did a little research on what the best kind of gasket is for uh, fuel and it's a nitrile based gasket called Buna N so B-U-N-A space or dash N. And that is the kind of gasket that you should use when you're making one for uh, gasoline or diesel or any kind of petroleum-based uh, product. Uh, you can also use neoprene, but I don't think it's as good or as durable. So I got the gasket uh, coming in from Amazon, and it was only like $8. And it's basically a 12 by 12 uh, gasket. Uh, by 16th inch thickness and I also got a hole punch so that I can make some professional holes where the uh, you know the fuel fuel valve mounts in so basically what happens here is the uh, the fuel filter fuel filter mounts in and is bolted to the petcock valve with these bolts and I'll show you what it looks like So the fuel filter comes out like that and you see this gasket well this gasket actually was one piece full and I don't know maybe somebody made it too I don't know but it was really uh, it was leaking which is the reason why I uh, changed it it was leaking uh, out of the bottom of the tank but you see right here it matches the three holes right here but it, it span the whole diameter so the one I got only is this big from generator guru and they said that you know the I guess this is an older version the newer version the petcock valve doesn't have this little plate in between this and the gas tank I guess the gas tank is you know the the uh, hole is a lot smaller and the petcock valve actually uh, connects to it so all right so I'm dealing with that so Basically, you know, you have your petcock valve goes on here and then your fuel filter gets connected, like I said, with the two bolts. So I'm going to show you uh, how I do the uh, gasket. It's actually pretty cool. The hole punch I got has a number of different diameters and I measured the holes right here to make sure that um, 
you know, I have the right size. And it should work pretty good. Um, and then I'll have an extra one when, an extra gasket when that comes in from England. So, uh, just to go over this generator a little bit, a little story behind it. Uh, a guy out of New York, he's a, he was an EMT. He had it on Craigslist. And if you guys, per, you know, looked at diesel generators, they're fairly expensive. Uh, this is a 6,500 watt generator. And I got it for $1,000. And the thing runs really good. It just started leaking the other day when I came in my uh, storage unit to just start it. And I thought, oh man, how am I going to get parts for that? But I went online and sure enough, it's there. It's the model KDG 7500E. So it's a uh, legit diesel generator and it, and it uh, powers just about anything that you want to. This, this will power, you know, it'll power a lot of things uh, that you have in your house. Uh, most anything. Uh, and for things that are even bigger, I have the Duramax hybrid dual gen uh, dual pro propane uh, gasoline generator. That's a 12,000 water. But anyway, we're going to focus on this one, give it a little love today. And uh, the other thing I did is I put these wheels on there. I put some pressure treated uh, Two by sixes made a frame so that I could roll this thing out around really easy. And I also put underneath a little hook so that I can actually winch it up into uh, my military trailer that I have on ramps. So uh, I don't have to worry about trying to push this thing up. It's probably a couple hundred pounds. So um, in any event, that's uh, what I'm going to do. So the next thing you'll see me is... Uh, getting in the nitrile gasket and and making the actual uh, gasket for the opening here. All right, so here's my filter. Here's the gasket that came with the filter. And you notice it fits very nicely over the filter there, but the problem is when you put the metal plate over it, doesn't cover the metal plate the cover so this metal actually would go up against the gas uh, tank and the gas would just pour right out of there all right because gas is gonna be laying all in there so I had to make a gasket which I already did and I'll show you how I did it uh, perfectly uh, punched holes with my hole punch set. It fits right over. And then here's your plate. You see how that covers it perfectly. So that that should work. And this uh, material, I'll turn on my light here so you can see a better shot of the actual material. It's uh, called Butyl N uh, Nitrile, and it's out of uh, Amazon. I got this for $8. It was a 12 by 12 uh, piece right here. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I punch a hole in it. So see my hole punch set. And this was uh, $17 off of Amazon. Very cheap very and very good quality. It's very uh, sturdy metal here. So this is the hole punch here. And you can view where you're lining up right here. Okay, right through this hole. So you want to line it like where you're viewing right through this hole here so you can see the center. And then what you do once you have it lined up, you get a hammer and you just tap it against something very solid and this is a you know the anvil part of my vise right here okay so you see that's what it does and then sometimes you got to give it a little bit of extra 
maybe a little extra right there because it didn't get all of it. So you just go through again and hammer it. And there you go. Perfectly punched hole right there. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, trying to get it really nice with a razor, which you won't get it because this is it's pretty thick stuff. And the only thing I used a uh, razor for is to cut out the the hole around the uh, around the uh, flange piece of metal there. I just use a, a razor to, to go around that. But uh, other than that, you just use a hole punch. And they come in from very small. Uh, this particular set, very small. Uh, one thirty second, right here. So one thirty second. All the way up to three quarters. So this is a really good value right here. So you could punch three quarters. You could do this through leather as well if you if you do leather work. So uh, people use it for leather or for gaskets, just like I did. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, this will sit up in the tank like that, and your petcock valve will sit right under it like this and then you have the two bolts that bolt right to it right here and then there's three holes around the edge here where they screw into the actual tank okay we're starting to put together the uh, gas tank uh, with the filter. I already did it, so it's nothing really earth-shattering, but uh, you see right here one, two, and then three screws right there. The new petcock valve is in, and I also put a new fuel line because the fuel line that I had was really hard. Uh, so I put in a new fuel line, and you see the uh, black right there. I also put some JB Weld Marine uh, epoxy, and you get that at the auto parts store for like 15 bucks or so, because I noticed a hairline crack at the base of this lip right here. So uh, it's very resistant to uh, petroleum-based products, diesel fuel, etc. So I wanted to do that as a precaution uh, and make sure that uh, it'll last a while. So next thing, I'll just put it right back on the uh, generator. Okay, the gas tank is on. It has the four bolts. And I put some gas in it with the uh, petcock valve. Let's see if I get it in there. Shut, make sure it's shut, and we're checking for leaks. And so far, so good, no leaks. So, it's very promising. And then, the last couple things I need to do is I'm going to put an inline fuel filter in here. Uh, it's recommended for some added filtration of the gasoline, and that's on its way. And then we just need to put in the battery and then fire it up. And hopefully uh, I don't have to bleed it because I just shut it off and the gas should still be in there. I'll just let the gas run, you know, to the fuel right there, uh, to the engine. And hopefully I won't need to bleed it. I possibly may need to, but uh, we'll see. All right, everybody, here's what I did I uh, put an inline fuel filter there and with this generator it really vibrates so you have to use like the uh, the heater hose clamps to really tighten down on there so that the fuel doesn't leak I had a little bit of a fuel leak issue but uh, it's all resolved now with those clamps so I let it run for a while and we'll start it up for you right now actually
how that thing shakes when it uh, when it stops. And uh, you notice no uh, fuel leaks at all. We have a nice new fuel filter in the tank now. We have the inline fuel filter, so we're uh, looking pretty good. Last thing I'm going to do is probably change the oil. I got an oil filter. Uh, I'll probably have to take this thing. Oh, actually, here's the uh, oil filter right here. I don't need to uh, take the uh, frame off of the wood. So I'll change that next. And then we'll be all complete. But I think that's it for this video. And uh, as always, you guys should keep prepping. Uh, there's nothing like a diesel. Love them. Love diesel. Anyway, uh, Vermont Prepper out. And you know, feel free to comment. Like, subscribe, share. Much appreciated. Take care.